Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Hitchner2009 here. Uh, today, we are going to bring you a uh, tutorial on how to root your phone. All right. Uh, this tutorial does not work on all phones. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this does work for most phones. I have done a rooted. Um, try to do a rooted process with the HTC Incredible, and it did not work with this application that we're going to be using um, on it. So, I will post in the uh, description a list of, or sorry, a link uh, for the phones that are compatible with this uh, program so that way you don't waste your time, alright? So, go ahead and check on that link before you continue with this video. And if your phone is in there, go ahead and proceed with the video. If it's not in there, more than likely it's not going to work. You can try it and it will not harm your phone. Alright, so let's get started. You want to open up your phone here, unlock it. Um, now, two things you're going to need before you can even uh, start this rooting process, okay? You're going to need to download Gingerbreak version 1.20, okay? I will post a link um, for, the, uh, for the download in my description, so go ahead and download that. And then you're also going to need to go to your... Um, Google Play Store and download a file manager. Okay, I recommend getting Astro File Manager um, for that is the best one. And then step three before you can start this process is you're going to need to go into your settings on your phone. Get to this window here. Okay, now go to Applications. Go to Development and click on Android Debugging or USB Debugging, whichever one it says. It'll say something debugging. Okay, you need to click that. Then you go back and you go to your application settings uh, window again. And up at the top, it'll say unknown sources. Okay, you want to check on that because you have to download your um, your gingerbreak um, on your phone. Well, I guess in some certain cases, you don't have to check on that. If you want to download the link straight to your phone off your phone's internet, click on that. Okay, if you want to download it off your computer um, and you know scan it or whatever and then transfer it to your SD card, that's fine. Um, what we're going to ins uh, not insist, but you know recommend is downloading it straight to your phone because it's you know it's less hassle. Um, so say that you downloaded it um, from your phone's internet, okay? Open up your file manager. And go to f go to the top there at file manager okay then you're gonna have all these folders here all right go to your download folder that's more than likely where your files uh, get downloaded from your um, phone okay I know probably 99.9 percent .9 of the time unless you have changed it when you download anything from you know the internet um, that is out of sight of the Android market, it will come to this download folder. Anything that is on your SD card is here in the download folder, okay? So click on that download folder and find the file, okay? Oops. Alright, so it's right here, Gingerbreak version 1.20, alright? So now that you have that, you want to click on that and click on install. Okay. Now, for, you're not going to have the screen. The only reason it's telling me that is um, because I already have it downloaded. Okay. So you're going to push OK. It's going to tell you, do you want to install this application? Push Install. All right. And when it's installed, it will say Application Success or Application Install. Now, if you have an antivirus, as I do, I have AVG Pro on my phone. Okay. If you have that. You will get an audible warning that tells you that the installed package is infected. It is not infected with a virus. The only reason that it's realizing it as a threat is because it alters the settings on your phone. Okay? Um, so you're going to want to push ignore on that. You're going to push open. And then it's going to tell you, please make sure before rooting uh, that you have your SD card inserted and mounted and that USB debugging is enabled. We've already been through that, so go ahead and push OK. All right. 
And at the top, it's going to tell you the version um, that you have downloaded. All right. If it says version 1.2, you're on the right track. You followed the, the steps so far. You're doing good. Okay. Now you're going to come up here, and there's going to be two options. There's going to say root device and unroot device, and donate with PayPal. So that's three. I, you know, that's. That's not me. I don't donate to, you know, applications and such. You know, I only donate, you know, to other things, not that. So don't worry about that. Here are your two options. These are the only two options that you can um, that you can do here in the rooting process of your phone. All right. You're going to want to click root device. Now, when you click on this, all it's going to do is alter your system files and such, so you can um, change stuff on your phone that your provider never really wanted you to change. I don't know why they're so anal about that, but they really don't want you, you know, changing up their boot logos and stuff like that. Rooting your device is going to allow you to do that. Okay. Unroot device, you're not going to have the ability to do that because your phone's not rooted. I have that ability because my phone is rooted. Okay, so that is one thing to know that if you root your device and you know you get a little bit too scared with it or you don't want to do it, um, you go ahead and push unroot and it'll unroot it. And then all you got to do is down uh, <coughs> delete ginger break from your um, from your applications and you'll be good to go. You won't have your phone rooted no more. So it is reversible. So you're going to go ahead and click on root device. I'm not going to click on it because my phone's already rooted. Click on that. Let it do its thing. If you are sitting in the... There's going to be a little window that pops up here, okay? This window's going to stay up, and you're going to have a, another little window that pops up. All right? If that window pops up, your phone is not compatible with Gingerbreak version 1.2. If it stays up longer than 10 minutes, Okay? Uh, what it's doing is it's rewriting system files and stuff like that and allowing you, like I said, to change stuff you normally would not be able to do and download apps you normally could not download. So if, you're, if your window pops up and you've had it running for, say, 10 plus minutes and it's still on the same thing or it hasn't gone past a certain point and shut down, your phone is not compatible. Once your phone is done rooting itself, it's going to turn itself off. <clears throat> And it's gonna power back on. It's gonna do a reboot, okay? So let's say it's done that and you come back to your home screen. You're gonna wanna open up your app drawer where all your apps are stored, okay? You're gonna wanna look for the app called Super User. That comes inside the Gingerbreak um, application that we gave you, okay? It, once you get your phone rooted and it's properly rooted, it will come up on this app drawer so click on that and it'll look something like this okay now you see ginger break in there all these other applications in here are applications you can only have when you are rooted so I guess I could tell you some of the good ones that you should get ad free makes it so you do not get any ads anymore on any website that you surf on your phone okay prop modder allows you to uh, customize your your prop folder inside your phone uh, you know you can change your LCD density to make it kinda look like a higher resolution uh, you can hack your 3G network speeds um, you can uh, hack your buffering speed for your SD card uh, but be careful with any of these apps you need to be careful and I would recommend looking at a tutorial online uh, on how they're used um, so that way you don't damage your phone or make it so you can't use it okay root explorer makes it like I said before so you can go into folders and files that you originally would not be able to do to alter and use with your phone being rooted you can you know change custom boot logos uh, shut down animations change your notification bar you can put custom ROMs on it um, and such as that so it's a very beneficial thing to have and then set CPU allows you to overclock your phone um, so be careful with that one because if you overclock your phone too much your phone's going to get hot and you could melt your battery okay or damage the internal memory so be careful when using any of these so that's what it's going to look like and you know there will be a log telling you what was added <sighs> So, 
that is how you guys root your phone uh, once rooted like I said you can change your shutdown animations boot up animations um, there is a humongous list um, of things that you can do when rooted uh, so it is a very beneficial thing to do uh, to root your device um, so thank you guys this is Hitchner2009 if you have any questions or concerns you can email me um, and if I'm able to I can post a video response in uh, regards to that uh, to help you out or if not I will uh, send you an email message and um, let you know uh, what I can do to help so thanks for watching guys and everybody have a good